five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we're in show. This is ABC 15 Arizona at 10. Mike's open. Wrapping up a 4th of July that I'm gonna take this video as soon as I can. Different. Sure, there Taking. were fireworks and barbecues, but this year is as much about celebrating America I'm as I'm going to fade protecting out the music when it's appropriate. Health. The Taking. coronavirus changing the way we celebrate tonight Fading across the nation. Health slowly. officials to say how we do will impact how we slow the spread here in Arizona. More Taking. than 94,000 people have tested positive for COVID-19. That's about one out of every 100 people in our state. Taking. How much longer this virus really does impact us no, is anyone's mic keeps guess. Going up but health officials agree our actions this Even weekend are it. key in whether we slow the spread. Checking. Our Adam Waltz is live tonight in Scottsdale after one of several Independence Day celebrations just wrapping up. Good Mike's evening, Adam. Taking Mike's down. Hey, good evening, Justice. Na Justin, now despite Justice? the new safety protocols and just kind of the, as we say, the new That's normal for the 4th of July, Westworld put on a pretty spectacular fireworks show here I'm that just wrapped up about half an hour ago, and they Taking. estimated about 800 cars showed up to the a ground seven here second the saw is coming up. fireworks show. It lasted about 30 minutes. Now, some of the safety uh, that measures was a that they -show. implemented were the cars, 118 they were good. further away than usual, and masks were required if you decided to leave your car to watch the fireworks. Now, we spoke to Stand one by. family about this new type of fireworks show, and here's what they had to say. Ticking. We felt safe coming here tonight, being able to stay in our car and um, be distant away from everybody, but still be able to have some fun. Ticking. Now, the family added that it was nice Camera to is next. get out of the house and get that 4th of July experience, get that 4th of July fireworks yes. experience, yeah. even though it was socially distanced and Stand you had to wear a mask, they still very much enjoyed it. Mike is open on Justin. In Scottsdale, Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona. And taking. Right, thank you very much, Adam. A much different picture at our nation's capital. The president nice, hosting nice. a salute to freedom celebration. There was no sign we were in a pandemic Digging. outside the White House. Crowds gathered, two? some I mean one. not all wearing masks, <laughs> but almost no social distancing. Digging. Now, during the celebration, President Trump steering away from the coronavirus, I might criticizing have to hold his protests damn across mic. the nation and the movement to bring down Confederate monuments. So this evening in Phoenix, two uh, we might actually need to taking video. Members of the We Rise project hit the streets to protect police uh, to protest police brutality. Okay. Uh, they soon came face to face uh, with we a can First up his Amendment gain in the back. protest. Things were that tense, might just be it. And we asked both sides what Sopo it would take for a compromise. Straight shot six taking. Oh, dialogue. Mike is down. Do you know how I to mean, do that, Ed? Real dialogue. If you're not going to, they're going to sit okay. there and just yell and, and yell okay. a bunch of nonsense, right? Out here is the out. Heard. And they want them to be heard, but not me to be heard. Well, that's not so dialogue. Up, just a, he might line. actually center actually himself. We represent what we represent. We represent he black, likes to brown, wiggle. white, yellow. Because if it was Five, only black by. people we were fighting for, He's probably the everybody worst, wouldn't be out here. All different racial, racial groups wouldn't be Mike's out here. Mike's open and taking. Well, things did pretty rem uh, remain peaceful there, but there were more than 50 people. Most of them were next. not wearing a mask. Taking. Developing tonight, an investigation after police shot and killed a man in Phoenix. Mm, that's not this it. happened just before. 2 o'clock near 59th Avenue and Indian School Road. Police first got a call from someone saying that a man who tried to stab them, uh, they showed up to their home. When officers arrived, the caller pointed to a house nearby saying the suspect cool. was parked my in the driveway. Hey, officers just realized, say they went uh, to talk to that man asking him to get out of the car. That's like when they say he rolled up the window lame. and grabbed so a I gun. Ran a wrong Police open. told Sorry. him to drop it. They say he didn't, lifting it towards officers Stop, when they fired back. Ticking. He rolled his window up, didn't talk to him. And then he kept telling him, open the window, get your hand away from that gun. And uh, he said about three times, then a guy went a couple of minutes. He says, pal, five the times, step by. Pole. When he did that, that guy started like that when he flinched. He tried that. Like, bah, 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 bah. Ticking. So we don't know yet if the man was the suspect they were initially called for. The well, homeowner is next. you just saw right there says the man parked outside was his son's friend. Ticking. An update right now on a massive fire destroying a flower Same. shop in Phoenix. Firefighters I checked the battery still and there it was like tonight. Eight point They're something. trying to work, so like, right, uh, trying fine. to get out some hot spots. We brought you this is breaking would, news at six o'clock as the fire grew near 52nd right, Street and Thomas. 123 with the correct tonight, be open. We damaged some neighboring buildings as well. No fire crews hurt there, especially with the hot weather. 
fire. The cause is still under investigation. Digging. On wildfire watch tonight, things cleared up now after a holiday traffic backup on the I-17 near Sunset Point. An RV caught fire, sparking the sheep fire that was in the grass right off the road. Crews were able to get it out pretty quick, but it did leave uh, to a pretty heavy backup For there. The and then a second fire, this one off of I-17 tonight uh, near Table Mesa Road, appropriately named yeah, the no, Independence you know, Fire. Fine. It started right around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Firefighters do have so it under control. Yeah, and let's bring in meteorologist Jorge Mike Torres. For Jorge, Jorge. This 4th of July, so hot and still so dry. All it take is one, takes is one spark. And I was actually just looking at the Holding. dispatch board, Jorge, for the Phoenix Fire Department. Slammed tonight. They have so many calls for fires. Ticking. Mike is down. Yeah, I sure can believe that, Justin. And I was actually looking at your Instagram story that was actually showing that. And we're going to take a look really quick at the Digging. time lapse from South Mountain Camera looking toward Phoenix. And you can just see all of those blinking dots here and there. That's all the fireworks that were cool. ongoing across the valley, not from uh, those events, those official uh, Independence Day celebrations, obviously, uh, throughout the valley. So that's going to be a concern for the next several hours. All right, now, next tomorrow, is 131, which is a panel. Kind of like today, it. very, very hot. One once again, with temperatures starting off in the lower 90s so at 8 o'clock in the left morning, on heating one, up to please. 112. In fact, today we hit 110. We'll be even hotter tomorrow. So if you want to escape the heat for Thank areas you. like Flagstaff, Sedona, and Prescott, looking great for Sunday. We'll talk more about the heat Stand that by. will continue is open. over the next several days. Coming up in your most accurate forecast. Right, thank you, Jorge. A hiker is dead after falling 100 feet you at? at the Grand Canyon. Park officials say a woman was hiking off the trail while taking photos yesterday when she accidentally stepped off the edge. As protocol, Ooh. the National Park Service and county officials We're gonna need a panel are investigating that right. death. Taking. Downtown Phoenix, the scene of a rally this morning. Puente, Arizona, gathering outside of the local ICE headquarters, Video's calling next. for the release of immigrants being kept at the Eloy Detention Taking. Center. So ICE confirming 222 detainees in Eloy have tested positive for the coronavirus so far. Immigration advocates alleging that ICE is keeping detainees up, in unsafe, next, 14 cramped seconds. conditions and not providing adequate medical care for those who have tested positive. Digging. I mean, people Holding are able to super. socially distance inside Whoa. of in a, in a place where 14 they're seconds being from the virus. There's this like virus no is personal yeah. space whatsoever, and it's it's just unnecessary to keep people in there to potentially kill them from this virus. Digging. Well, there have been no reports of coronavirus deaths among detainees at Eloy, next but yes. ABC 15 can confirm With one employee open. has died. I says that detainees are yes. well cared for. They have access to plenty of cleaning supplies and masks and that they have worked to reduce the number of people in custody Stand because by. of the pandemic. Digging. Well, it's been more than 100 days since schools across the state have to close next their doors we and can take actually learning do it online. This and a lot has happened during that time, and we know so many of you wonder what this school year has in store. Tonight, ABC 15's Danielle Lerner seconds. shows us why trauma-sensitive teaching could be more prominent in the classroom. Digging. You know, are they eating? Are they being taken care of? A lot of times that schools one? are that same place, and are they not feeling safe? These are just some of the questions that keep elementary school counselor Janine Menard up at night. Her students and their families facing hardships like unemployment, social isolation, 142 is dead. or illness 142? because of COVID-19. Different types of abuse. Uh, wait, um, I'll just wait. I also worry that some of my older students are being caretakers to the little kids. And that's why you'll see the words trauma-sensitive teaching throughout the Department of Education's roadmap to reopening schools, an approach to student behavior rooted in support rather than punishment. Assume that students and families have already suffered trauma. So you go in with a lens of, I need to be sensitive because whatever is trigger triggering them right now, it's coming from a, a place of trauma. That requires more resources, more time. How do you execute something like that? So you have to embed it in like the culture and it really needs to be like such a big focus but i feel like you know you know you say that everything needs to be a big focus the phoenix elementary school district is already focused on a trauma sensitive approach laying out its recommendations during a board meeting earlier this month malika wadley is the district's school social work and student support systems coordinator we are all experiencing some level of stress and insecurity we know that if students are not emotionally well 
help within the lab. Part of the district's reopening recommendations include professional development for staff on the impact of COVID-19 and other trauma-sensitive topics. 30 At least six seconds. campuses will be getting About a 30. second social worker and students will have access to a mental health therapist. Wadley also recommends the four R's to bring this supportive approach home. First, reassurance. Tell your children everything you're doing to keep them safe. Keep a routine. Do your best to regulate your and your child's emotions and channel resiliency. We all have some internal resiliency and um, picking up on that resiliency, remembering we have any resiliency. Five seconds. We Stand by. In Phoenix, Daniel Mike is Lerner, open. ABC 15, Arizona. Ticking. And as Arizona school districts develop their back to school Jesus plan, we've made it really easy to see what your district is working on with an interactive searchable map online. You can head to abc15.com slash schools. Ticking. Well, it's a high tech way to keep COVID-19 off airplanes, a new device you might encounter the next time you fly. Ticking. And 4th of July, not just for humans, how some at the is Phoenix like Zoo found a way to celebrate Three, Independence two, Day. Three, two, one, and we're out. Hit button. I'm going to hit that for a second.